pavilion is the soul of a club, be it the smallest village or at Lord's. This site spans three centuries. In that time, the pavilion has moved from a place of tees and sweaty socks to the 21st century sophistication you see around you today. But it's still the soul of the club, it's the keeper of history. It's where the memories reside. It's where hierarchies are established and the ghost of W.G. Grace still stalks. W.G. Um, was rammed into us when we were youngsters and teenagers because we used to play what was called then before the youth setup they've got now. They were Gloucestershire young cricketers and Graham Wiltshire, the old coach, used to drum into us because we used to have to stay in the pavilion overnight and sleep in the change rooms with our sleeping bags. You say, any nonsense, any trouble, WG's up there above the, above the room above, and you'll hear his footsteps and they'll come and haunt you if you lads don't behave yourself overnight. So we were terrified. When you first start and you walk into that dressing room and they say, right, this is your first home game, and you do literally walk in there and say, where am I changing? And then you look round and Mike Proctor will say, you're in that corner. And I'd shep across the other side of the doorway so it wasn't too bad. Fortunately, we weren't too close to the public school boys of Gravney, Folk and those who, who, you know, not tell any tales, just chuck their kit anywhere. And the food was rudimentary too. Where we were sitting is about halfway up and the, the lunches came by pulley from the bottom and they were only salads because they never did hot meals. I think we have progressed. After WG, another great legend resided here. Yes, it's Walter Hammond, England's captain and master of the game. There they go, the glorious Gloucesters, enjoying the adulation they so richly deserve. Double winners last year, they've gone one better in 2000. It's another one-day title. But that's all in the past. It's the present players who'll be the first to dwell in a building fit for a new age. I think it's in a very strong position, uh, the, you know, with what they're doing at the club now, with the pavilion and, uh, and selling off the far end uh, for development, and with the squad we've got at the moment, and, and certainly the supporters we've got. You know, we're, we're, everything's pretty happy at the club. You've only got to look around sort of county cricket now, and there's so many sort of wonderful places to go and play. It's, it's nice to be joining that bill. You know, it's, it's going to be. Uh, an exciting place for visitors to come. Have you got a sweepstake as to who can put a ball through the window first? No, but we, we saw the, the panes um, when they arrived, the big glass, uh, so they look pretty thick, so if someone can put a ball through, they've done well. It's a building for all seasons. Well, we've got three sort of major areas. We have the Jessup Room downstairs, which is going to be our major bar for T20 and uh, international games. Above that is the Grace Room, which will be hospitality for T20 and international, and then will be available for our members. And then the room we're sat in now, the Premier Lounge, uh, will be exclusively for our Premier members, um, with our, our best seat in the house. Hi then, guys. But such matters are of little concern to the Gloucestershire players of the future. The county continues to nurture young talent, those who'll inhabit this space in the years to come, and they love the coaching they receive. Yeah, I think it's good, like, 9, 10 out of 10. I mean, there's a lot of training, a lot of matches, so it's good coaching as well, so yeah, I really like it. My ambition is to uh, try and get into Gloucestershire first team and then maybe even get through to England. The coaches are really good, they're quite elaborate in their training and obviously there are lots of matches as well, so there are lots of things to help us with our game. And so uh, is the future of the county safe in your hands? Uh, I think so, hopefully. Obviously my main role working in the schools and the local clubs and stuff, trying to find the best young talent we've got around the north end of the county and to get them into our age group, district and county squads. Do you think a lot of them will go on to play county cricket? I'd like to think so. We've got some very strong age groups at the moment, some good players in each age group. So hopefully we'll see as many of them playing the first team as possible, really. So uh, which is the best county in the country? Gloucestershire! So a vision for the future and a focus for the new quest for success, but also a link to the past and the history of this great club.